Nah, like, this is the thing. I know there's a fucking million people that every single thing that I just said, whether you thought about it before or you never thought about it, you, you agree with what I'm saying. Because there, there has to be. There has to be millions of people, hundreds of millions of people that agree with exactly what I said. I'm doing this 45 minutes for 0 45 I did it I didn't do anything else and then it's done on to the next one because the way it works right now is like I've you know I'm organized I have like a list of what I need to do and I'll be like oh I'm editing this video like it'll, it'll even be happening Matt I'll be listing phones I'll be like editing a video say I'll be editing it and then I'm like oh I got email this person back Oh, I, I, you know, it's 9 o'clock at night. I don't have to email anybody back right now. No one's going to see it until tomorrow. So what I need, really need to do is just sit here, edit the fucking video. Then when I'm done, sit down, take care of the email, take care of whatever tax bullshit I need to take care of with New York State. You know? Just take care of it, like, in, <laughs> by itself. And I haven't been doing that. And, like... Yes, I know what I need to do, but that doesn't mean it's going to be easy just because I have a difficult time focusing on something. But the way I see it, like, that is the way to do it. Like, you can't just fucking, like, do 18 things at a time and think that, like, it's going to happen the way you want it to happen because it won't. That's my two cents. But at the same time, like, I want to edit this video, but I'm literally just tired as shit. Which is like, a, that's like a different story because now you have to factor in sleep, right? And there's people that are like, ah, bro, fuck sleep. I'll fucking stay up, get five hours of sleep and fucking work, work, work. And then whatever, right? And it's like, okay, how do I figure out like what's an appropriate balance of everything? And you know, in college, once you get to college, that kind of, you start having like those problems and you start figuring out like, oh, like, should I study the extra hour or should I get the extra hour of sleep? Or should I chill for an extra hour or should I go back and study for an extra hour? And when we were in high school, we learned, we we're in business classes and we learned something called opportunity cost, right? That's exactly what life is. Life, the entire life is opportunity cost. What that means, opportunity cost is what you give up by doing something else. So if I decide that I'm gonna chill for an hour instead of editing for an hour, my opportunity cost is editing for an hour. And that's like, that's just what time is. And it's like, dude, it's just, I mean, like every day we have like these new realizations and like, we feel like we're like, I'm just speaking for both of us cause like we're on the same page like about like pretty much everything. Like we feel like we're like, that much closer, that much closer. Like every day, we, as we have these realizations and as everything develops, and like we are that much closer, but really like you don't see the progress until like, you don't see the progress like day by day, right? You see the progress like week by week, month by month, and it's like difficult. And like a lot of people get discouraged because like, they're like, oh, today I'm barely better off than I was yesterday and all that stuff. But then you look back couple months down the line you look back and see how much has changed in reality yeah. like you know even with the gym like oh man like oh, i don't think that i'm bigger than i was a month ago right L listen the one thing that i learned in my life i learned a lot of things the one thing regardless money any <laughs> i don't know what else money education numbers the numbers they never lie Never, ever, ever lie. Just because you don't see something, if you don't see something, look at the fucking numbers. Let me tell you, because you go to the gym and you go, oh, I don't look any bigger. Meanwhile, you're pushing out 10 more pounds than you were a month ago, or you're pushing out one more rep. What does that mean to you physically? I don't fucking know. But what I do know, the numbers do not lie. You're pushing out one more rep. What percent is that? How much has your percent increased of whatever you're doing? Maddie. Yes. Recording a video, uh. the numbers never lie. When you're talking about that, 
Yo, the footage that you saw before with us talking to Amanda, and we were talking about specifically social media, and um, and and you know what I said. I'm sure we're gonna include it. Volume, right? Volume trumps quality. You push it out. You gotta just keep pushing it. The numbers never lie. If you bitch and complain, oh, I can't get sponsored. I can't get a partnership. And we say, oh, how many people did you reach out to? And you tell me, oh, I reached out to five, ten people. I'll fucking laugh at you. Because the numbers don't lie. You reached out to five people. I, I, it's just like... Or like, oh, my product doesn't sell. Okay. What, how many impressions does your ad have? Oh, it has like a thousand. Well, there you fucking go. You're not reaching enough people. Numbers do not lie ever. And if the numbers lie, it's because your accountant is stealing your money. That's <laughs> the only reason. Dude, it's just crazy, man. A couple months ago, maybe two months ago, after we had this channel started, Matt and I, who talk 24-7, we were like, we were waiting, right? We were waiting. We were doing our thing, pinning videos out when we could. You know, I put a couple more out than him, but it's okay. And we were waiting, and we are waiting for the moment that is right now. We kept saying it. We kept saying, the summer, the summer, we're gonna have more time, we're gonna be together, we're gonna be able to fucking put out more, do more, do it better. And I think we are. Well, I don't think we are. We are, you know how I know? The numbers don't lie, right? The average watch time on the videos is up, subscribers are up, views is up, and some people are gonna look at me and go, Matt, the numbers don't lie, you have 82 subscribers. I wipe my ass with that. And I'll say, you're absolutely right. But unless you have more than 82 subscribers, don't tell me shit. Because if you have less than 82 subscribers, as far as to you, I'm a YouTube master. If the numbers are going up, if everything's going up, the only thing that you could do is to keep doing what you're doing and be patient. And it just happens that everything that I need to do I need to be patient, I need to focus on what I'm doing, um, all that stuff that I've been saying, like in my game plan, those are my weaknesses. They're all my weaknesses, my, my worst weaknesses. Completely impatient, completely can't focus. Like every day that goes by, like everything makes like some more sense to me. Like the just, just like the realization that like I just had that like those are my biggest weaknesses, clearly. <laughs> you just gotta do it, man. That's it. You just gotta do it. Numbers, don't lie. Push the volume out. And just do it. It's like classic Gary V shit. Like, stop watching my fucking videos and go fucking do it. You know, we watch a couple of them every once in a while, but... Gotta allow a couple... A little bit of leisure time. I mean, you can't just work 18 hours a day and not do anything. When you're, you know, like eating a sandwich or something. I don't really eat sandwiches, but you know what I mean. Alright, I'm gonna say something that, like, I never say. Like, this shit. Like, not, not YouTube. But, like, I guess success. Whatever that means for you. At least in my eyes, what success means for me. And I'm not really gonna get into, like, what it means for me and everything. But what it means to me, like, that's something. Like, listen, everyone wants to be successful, right? Everyone, like... Because why would you not want to be successful, right? But like the idea of success, like that's something that I've been chasing. I'm going to say a long time. Some people are going to say it's not a long time because I'm young. Since I was like 10. Like there's a picture of me, maybe even earlier, when I was like 8, in a fucking bathtub reading a book about how to fucking invest money, right? And I wanted to be successful since then. And like, like sometimes I'm having, sometimes... My moods are very volatile. Some days I have good days. Some days I have bad days. Usually I don't. I, I never really have any like eh days. It's usually a good day or it's a bad day, right? And like I, I want it so bad. It by success, I mean. So right now, like to get a following. Right now to start a business. Right now to to just scale whatever I'm doing. And like I'll just be driving in my car and I'll just start crying. Like, because I want it so bad. Like, not like, oh, like, I feel bad that, like, I'm not doing it or I'm doing it. It's just, 
Like, I want it so bad. Maybe it has to do with me being impatient. Like, like I'll just start crying. Like, because, like, that's how fucking bad I want it. And, like, if you're doing something, and, like, obviously, like, I'm not saying everyone's as emotional as that. But, like, if you want something so bad, and, like, like it, it doesn't make you cry. And, like, it, you could sleep at night fine, and you're not fucking sitting up thinking about it like me like oh yeah i'm going to bed it's 11 30 right i don't go to bed till fucking two why because i'm sitting on my bed fucking reading articles doing whatever right just or i just can't sleep because just oh man like i can't get out of my head and if that's not you about whatever you're working on then you're working on the wrong shit you're you're working on the wrong shit like that's what's that's why people love nine to fives because you could just go home and you don't have to think about it right and that's why I hate it. That's why I hate it. That's why I don't do, that's why I don't work like that. That's why I have ver had very few normal jobs. Like if it doesn't fucking drive you insane, like regardless of like if your financial future is depending on it or not, which like obviously if it is, then it's gonna drive you like more crazy. But like if it doesn't drive you insane, the success that you want to have with what you're doing, then like, then what are you doing? You don't see in the videos, every 15 minutes I fucking refresh, go on YouTube, refresh my phone to see if we got a sub. I think every single individual sub since 20 subs I've seen individually and texted Matt about. Cause why? Cause it fucking, I'm obsessed with it. Every fucking view I'm obsessed with. Every fucking number I'm obsessed with. Every fucking comment, respond within 20 minutes. Cause if you don't do that, like as far as I'm concerned, you're just fucking half-assing it. If you're not obsessed with it, you're half-assing it. Like, I, like the first, the we got like one nasty comment, like ever. It was a while ago, maybe like um, what one and a half months into it. Two, yeah, it was spring break. Spring break. April. April. Whatever. Two months into it, and it was like, you're trying to make a quick buck and some 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 bullshit, right? And it's funny because that person. Is fucking subscribe to us. They thumb down every video the second it goes up. And that makes me happy. Because I think it's fucking hysterical. That you would go to the trouble of subbing. Just so you could thumb down a video. Without even watching it. Surely because you don't like me. It makes me feel good inside. And warm and fuzzy. They're going to love you or they're going to hate you. Personally, I, w I wish that they would love me. But if they don't love me. At least they subbed. At least they're following my shit. I don't know why you'd be following someone that you hate. But I mean, for the love of fucking God, man. Everyone just get your shit together, man. Including me. Holy shit. Nah, you know what I learned to do? Like, all, of, like, whatever your immediate emotions are, or not even emotions, like, weaknesses or, or doubts or anything like that. Like, cause you gotta think like your heart and you gotta think from your brain, right? I used to have doubt, right? I used to like, like doubt guide me, right? And like some people like really successful people, like maybe they don't even have doubt, like fucking like Floyd Mayweather, or, like Conor McGregor or, or Donald Trump or whoever. They're like, oh, like I'm the best. I have no doubts about anything I'm doing. And you're like, oh, like I want to be like them, right? But like you think that they just like were born and they just had no doubts Like ha I don't think so what you have to do is recognize whatever doubt you're having and Then you have to actually like think about it and push it to the side And then over time like you just keep pushing it to the side pushing it to the side pushing it to the side And you actually do it instead of listening to the doubt and you see that your mind is working better than your Immediate doubt whatever you want to say and then eventually you just don't have doubts because for so long you've pushed them to the side and just done it. That's what I started doing. I don't know when I started doing that. Maybe in the past year. You just got to go out of your comfort zone really is what it is. And that's kind of gotten me to like where I'm at this point. Like, right? So like, oh, we're putting out videos, right? Say like a year goes by and we don't have a following. And like my main reaction is like, ah, like we failed it, right? Push it to the side. And just keep fucking doing it. Because at the end of the day, deep down I know, if you just keep fucking doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. Unless you, unless we suck, which I know that we do not suck. Unless, we have, unless you have no talent, which I know is not the case. 
then you have to just keep doing it, and eventually it's going to happen. How long? I don't know. I hate to say typically, but from a lot of people that we've seen on YouTube specifically, we see one to two years, right? You could look at, like, music, sports, any of that stuff, right? 2 chains didn't make it big till he was fucking 37 years old, which is crazy, right? Because you see, like, Lil Yachty, 19, like, freaking throwing bands and, like, Post Malone, early 20s, right? And, and Chance and, right, all these, like, kids... Making it big, right? Overnight success. Just It's just bullshit. There's no such thing as overnight success. I've said it before. I'll say it again. It does not exist. Right? Because the harder that you work, the luckier people say you are. Which basically what that means is that there's no such thing as luck. There's only such thing as hard work. That's what I believe. If you think I'm bullshit, that's unfortunate. If you think I'm real, that's great. Subscribe. Nah, like, this is the thing. I know there's a fucking million people that every single thing that I just said, whether you thought about it before or you never thought about it, you, you agree with what I'm saying. Because there, cause there has to be. There has to be millions of people, hundreds of millions of people that agree with exactly what I said. And, like, that's what, like, building community is about. That's what, like, having YouTube channels is about. Like, finding those like-minded people. And then even the not, the people that aren't like-minded, the people that thumbs down the video when they didn't even watch it, right? Because they don't like what you stand for, any of that stuff, which is whatever. That's what this is about. So, are you like-minded? I mean, I, you tell me, man. I hope so. Average Dude Nation. We'll see you in the next one. Shit. That blew my mind.